If you like this video, please go ahead and consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And please, by all means, share this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at Holzer, Terra Life Plus Edition. But before that, this video is brought to you by Chad Bergman and Jolly Rancher Gaming. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Holzer Terra Life Plus Edition map. You can find it at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC players only. Now, I do hope that the map author does release a non-Terra Life Plus edition of this map. Because as you're going to see, I think, during this map video, this has to be one of the most beautiful maps in Farm Sim. And it is truly a shame that it might be locked behind Terra Life Plus because Terra Life Plus is a highly complex mod and it's not going to be for everyone. So the idea that somebody might be not be able to play on this map simply because they're not going to be able to use Terra Life Plus and understand it is really a shame. Now, let me read you the description. Welcome to Holtz at Lake Ternes for Terra Life Plus. This map is part of the Terra Life Plus project and cannot be played without it. This map has been a very detailed replica of the village of Holtz in the beautiful Turnies Valley in Bavaria. This map first appeared in FS17, and I have to say, I have done a map video of this for FS17, 19, and now 22. It retains its beauty through all three game versions, and at all points in time, this map has been focused on realism. The train model was created based on real survey data and is therefore more accurate than ever before. In addition, several buildings from the village were exactly recreated, therefore reinforcing the realistic impression. You can expect on this map terrain based on real height data, real map border also created from original height data, original area view as a PDA, seven farms, including three hay milk farms, five selling stations. We have country trade, dairy, livestock dealer, farm shop, and tavern. Several buildings from the village are created one-to-one -one replica, more than 30 pastures, custom soil map for precision farming, detailed manual with description, and we're going to go over that in a little bit. And then just like all of the other Terra Life Plus mods and maps, this map and the map author are participating, participating with the charity project for a German cancer charity. I would highly recommend... As I've said in other videos relating to maps and the Terra Life Plus project, even if you're not going to use these maps, even if you're not going to use Terra Life Plus, download them. Because Giants pays map authors and mod authors by download. And basically, quite frankly, rate it. Rate it how you wish. But if you rate it higher, the higher the rating, the more they get paid per download. And all of the proceeds for the Terra Life Plus projects are going to go towards this German Cancer Research charity. So it is for a very good cause, even if you're not going to ultimately end up on playing this map or any of the other Terra Life Plus maps or making use of Terra Life Plus. Now, this map does have several required mods. Those required mods are listed right here. So be sure to go ahead and download all of those. These are all on the Giants Mod Hub. So if you don't have any of them, the game will prompt you to go ahead and download them. Terra Life Plus is listed here. And do note, Terra Life Plus itself has several required mods. Now, in addition to these required mods, we are going to be using the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food or review, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. Now, if you love this map up in farm, manager mode, or start from scratch, you will find all the farms are built out exactly how you see them here in new farm mode. You do not have any starting machinery in those alternate key modes, nor do you own any land. We are going to be running this in new farm mode. And I will tell you that I did load this system up on my low end test system, which is basically using AMD integrated graphics. I was able to obtain frames anywhere from upper 40s to a solid. 60 fps depending on where i was looking at the map and where i was positioned on the map i think if you're careful 
and you set your settings right, you're going to have a good playable experience on this map, regardless of the type of system you're using. But just be aware, you may need to make sure you don't have too much stuff going on at any one point in time on a lower end system. Does take a little bit of time for this map to load in and i think once you see why you'll, you'll understand once we load in as to why really that is the case because this map is loaded loaded with details there we go now that we've loaded on in let's go ahead and take a look at the pda and this is a real life google earth image of the area and we can see the the map is basically a vertical orientation because we do have the water over here at the lake. And then the entire western part of the map is basically forest. If we take a look at our lands overview. We see we start off by owning farmland ID 8. That is the main starting farm. Do you note there is a little bit of land over here that is associated with farmland ID 8, just north of farmland ID 26. In addition to that, we have a little sliver over here by field or farmland ID 3. And we also own farmland ID 3 and 4 at the start. Farmland ID 8 in any alternate game mode can be purchased for $105,168. Now there is a second farm we're going to find here at farmland ID 122. And it also has a little bit of land down here just south of farmland ID 39 that is associated with it. It can be bought for $128,688. We have a third farm at farmland ID 17. And it as well has a small little bit of land down here just south of farmland ID 18. That farm can be bought for $222,000. We have a fourth farm at farmland ID 15. It can be bought for $140,000. We have another farm at farmland ID 86. It can be bought for $229,000. We have a farm at farmland ID 138 that can be bought for $385,000. And then lastly, we have a farmland at farmland ID 66, and it can be bought for $138,000. And once again, we have a little bit of a square over here just south of farmland ID 61 that is tied in with farmland ID 66. As we have come to expect with Terra Life Plus, the crops have been changed significantly on this map. And as such, we have several new crops. In fact, we have four total pages of crops, as you can see them listed here. Let's going to take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any field or fields, what is included, and then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? As we saw earlier, a fair bit of the western side of the map is going to be forest, so there is a fair bit of forestry also available. And this map also have a, has a couple really cool tricks up its sleeve. There are a ton of cow pastures. This map is definitely going to be focused for those who are interested in cow husbandry. Here we can take a look at our field calculator screen. This is going to show us the specific sizes of each particular field. And as you can see, the vast majority of these fields are going to be less than either one hectare or between one hectare and two hectares in size. We do have the Terra Life Plus crop counter that is available here on this map. And then we also have a custom soil map. So let's go ahead and see how that is being applied to these fields. Quite an interesting soil map we have indeed. So to the far northwest, we've got silty clay. We do have a bit of silty clay to the east over by the lake edge. And then to the northeast, we've got a good hunk of loam. You can see between the silty clay and loam in the north. We do have a thin strip of sandy loam making its way down south, and then a large patch of 
sandy loam. Sorry, the yellow is loamy sand, and the sandy loam is down here in the southeast corner of the arable part of the map. With respect to our prices screen, you can see we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops as well as the other crops that are part of Terra Farm Plus. Now, this listing is quite out of order from what we are typically used to seeing. So it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to go through here. But when I did run down through this list, I did identify some base game production items that were missing from the ability to sell. And those included fabric clothing, cereal, and furniture. Now what we have seeing is intermixed in here. We have our hay pellets, we have our straw pellets. So those playing with straw harvest, you will be able to sell those. In addition, we'll see a little bit later, those playing with pumps and hoses, you will not be able to sell your separated manure unless you do put down a sell point for that. We do have the ability to buy bulk lime. And something we'll see a little bit later on is we do not have the ability of getting rid of our stones unless we put down our own stone sell point. Now, a lot of these things that are listed as not being available for sale, that is fine because you're going to be making use of those in one of your feed mixes. You'll see we have apple spread, premium potatoes, sugar beet syrup. Those are all productions that are part of Terra Farm Plus. And here we are down looking at some of these productions. And again, fabric and clothes are missing, as well as cereal. And then we'll get down here to our furniture. And well, yeah, you can see no cell point for stones. So with respect to the ability to sell all of our built-in crops, production items, and animal outputs, we're going to give the map three quarters of a point. We do not have the ability to sell any of our farm production pack washed root crops, nor do we have the ability to sell any of the premium expansion production items. And you can see we do have the ability to sell our platinum, sorry, our platinum expansion production items. We cannot sell our premium expansion production items. We can sell. It's been a long weekend with the release of Terra Life Plus, as you may imagine. With respect to our starting fleet, we do start out with all new starting vehicles. Everything is owned as well. As far as our animal pastures, we have several cow pastures and a chicken coop at the main starting farm. But this is by no means the extent of the cow pastures or other animal areas that are available on this map. We have quite an extensive list, as you're going to see here in a moment. Right now, we don't show any contracts available. Now, I don't know if this is simply because no contracts have spawned when I load it in, or if there's, there's no contracts at all. So let me know down in the comments below if you're seeing contracts when you load this map up. We do start out by owning a BGA and a hay dryer as far as our productions. And again, since this is using the production revamp mod, because that is part of Terra Life Plus, we're going to have serial or parallel productions. Two straight lines means we have serial production and the fact that we can activate either or both of these and our output will not suffer. With respect to, sorry, that's parallel production. With respect to serial production, it means we can activate one of these and we'll have 100% production. If we activate two or more, our production will be split between those. So it's kind of like timeshare. We also do not have any collectibles. Let's go ahead and take a look at that starting fleet. We start out with the Massey Ferguson 5S105 small tractor and the Massey Ferguson 4709M. We have the Klaus Karat 140 TD trailer and the Welger DK 115 trailer. We have the Brantner TA 12050 spread power plus manure spreader and the FarmTech Super Cease 800 slurry tanker. We have the Aerostar Exact 600 weeder as well as the APV GK 300 M1 full edition grass care roller. So this is going to be used only on your grass. We have the GMD 4411 side mower and the F240 front mower. We have the GF 8712 tether as well as the Pottinger top 342 windrower. 
we have a Boss Alpine 251 Forage Wagon, the Anderson M160 Forestry Trailer, the ABI Attachments 550 Water Tanker. We have Front Loader Arms, the Q3M. And for the Front Loader Arms, we have a Pallet Fork, Universal Bucket, Round Bell Fork, and Manure Fork. Now, as far as mods and DLCs for the map, the map does not have any custom mods or DLCs, but Terra Life Plus does. And as you have seen already in my overview video, we kind of ran through all of these, but you can see we do have quite a few custom things, including seeds, fill types, and vehicles and implements that are going to be used with respect to the Terra Life Plus mod on this particular map. Now, before we get on with the actual farm tour, I did go ahead and buy all of the farmlands because I wanted to show you the extensive list of animal pens that we have here. And you can see we now have a much larger listing. And you can see by the naming, a lot of these farms are gonna have several different areas for you to put cows, calves, or other animals. In addition, we do happen to have some that already are populated out. So we have a chicken pasture with 30 chickens, sheep pasture with 15, and then we have farmhouse loader already has 20 cows in that particular pen. And then we have a cow pasture already set up with 15. Now that's not the extent of the cow pastures because this map has a cool little trick. And I wanna show you that trick right over here. So we do have our sleep trigger. And then right around the corner, we've got this little wrench. And we've got what looks like electric fence and some fencing. Well, I want to show you what it looks like right here now. And then let's come back through here. And we're going to left click to build cow husbandry. And we'll come back over here. And now suddenly we have, well, cow husbandry here on the hill just below our yard. And we're going to have another 10 available in this cow husbandry area. There are going to be other areas where we can just activate and create more husbandry areas simply by finding little wrenches scattered around. There's at least one other that is going to be a sheep area. So here we are on the main starting farm. And before we dive into this, I want to circle back a little bit to the PDF that was mentioned in the description because this map has a very, very detailed manual that I think it's important that you understand it, one exists and two check out. Quite frankly, if you have the means to print it and have it beside you as you're playing, it's going to help you out significantly. So, this 49 page manual is going to help you out significantly with this map. And the map author has done this type of a thing with each previous iteration of this particular map. Within the manual, you get a little background about the map, some credits, and then we get some general information about the area. This is gonna be a listing of all of the farms and cell points. So the farms are here to the top, the cell points are down here. I'd rather not zoom in because it's just gonna make it easier to go down through this page at a time. But again, you're gonna find this manual by unzipping the map, and within that, there's going to be a PDF. There's a German one and an English one. And you pick the one you want, and there you go. You're off to the races. So this page is going to show you, those of you who are up for ultimate realism, well, in a multiplayer server, you could go ahead and set the map up like this, where you could set up this land up here is owned by this farm. This land here is owned by this farm. This land, again, and all of these different land areas are owned by the specific farms that are listed right here. So you could play as realistic as possible by actually owning the fields that each real life farm area owns. Here we have a zoom in and I will actually zoom in on this image because this is showing us all the different cow areas and sheep areas that are scattered around. So you see big clumps of these are going to be at the various farm areas. And these are all just pastures. These aren't the actual cow areas within 
each specific farm either. And then what we have a farm section. So this is gonna be every specific farm. We're gonna have a nice overview image. And then it's gonna run through where each trigger is and what is gonna be for each particular trigger. So since we have such a detailed manual here, I'm gonna maybe gloss over some of these things because ultimately you can come back here, see the picture and get a good understanding of exactly what's going on because I'm hoping to not make this an hour and a half long map tour, but it's definitely worth taking a look at this manual. I wanna make sure you know how to get the manual. Again, unzip the map file, and in there you're gonna find two PDFs, a German one and an English one. Use the one that is gonna be a language that you're most comfortable with. So again, we have one for every farm. We're gonna jump down here. Eventually we're gonna to land to an area where we have the cell points defined, what is accepted where, where the specific triggers are, and so forth. It'd really be nice if each, quite frankly, if each map came with its own detailed manual like this, it sure would make my job a whole lot easier. With that, let's go ahead and continue on. So, We've got custom icons. Whenever you see this icon, that's gonna be for your animal husbandry. We've got a small husbandry here for eight cows. And we also have a now smaller subset of the total cows that are available with Terra Life Plus. So here we're gonna be able to put some in here. We're gonna go inside. And there we've got our cows in there. So this is clearly set up for calves, the way you're going to be able to feed those. We have another small area here, so we have a feeding area. And another six calves are going to be able to go into here. We have a slurry point. Another cow area. We haven't gone, but 20 feet. Now we're going to have 30 for here. Then we're going to have our dump point for straw. Another cow area. We're up to four. We've barely even walked around the corner of the building. And we have now 10 for here. Maybe we'll just come around the side now. Put some of our front loader material. And then this is gonna be our bale and pallet storage. So we do have some bale and pallet storage up here. Now, from time to time, folks will say, why don't you do like a top 10 map listing? And I've always answered and I've always struggled with map listings because, well, I think at this point, we're close to 420 maps that we have looked at and done videos on for Farm Sim 22. How do I take 420 and whittle it down to 10? That itself is difficult. And the other aspect that's difficult is the fact that well, honestly, I don't often remember really good details on lots of these maps from one to the next. And that's again because of so many maps that I look at, I quickly kind of just put the past map behind me. We're fast approaching nearly a thousand maps that I have seen from my beginnings in Farm Sim 17. So here we have fuel storage. So I, I feel it's not really a good fair shake for a map that I might have kind of forgotten because it came out, let's say, two years ago. And it was really great when it came out two years ago. And it probably still is really great. We have chickens here for 100 chickens. We have our food and we have our egg spawn point. Down the hill, we have several apple trees. 
fact, this map has 17 big apple trees and 15 small apple trees. And that's basically where we started, right there around the corner. If I were to create a list today, this map would be right there on top with respect to one of the most beautiful farm sim maps ever. Hands down. And I think you're going to agree as we continue to look around this map, both by taking a look at all the individual farms and when we get to our flyover portion, that the views and everything we have here is just absolutely stunning. All of these textures are extremely well done, extremely high res. We have a maintenance trigger here at this farm. And the ability to get through pretty much any door that you see. That is pretty much the starting farm here. Now, given the number of farms on this map, we're just a short little walk to the next farm. Right up the hill. Now we're at our next farm. So we have our farmhouse there. We're going to have room for 36 cows here. Slurry. We got a manure heap. Slurry again. Food and straw. Eighty cows in this slightly modified base game building. And then we have our milk point. So there we have our nav mesh for that particular building. We've got fuel storage. This is gonna be our grain silo. So we have our dump point. We have our milk point. And we're going to have our output for our silo. Over here somewhere. Right there. Now, I've never been a giant fan of static counts, so... That's a wee little disappointing here. But, you know what? I like that we've got so many custom buildings and everything going on. Another eight cows going on in this hillside pasture. Dump point for our water there. Maybe a workshop trigger. Now, with respect to these farms being customizable, well, really they're not customizable from that standpoint. And I can really understand why they wouldn't be customizable at that point, because this has been set up as a realistic map. But we still must use our scoring system that we established way back at the start of FS22, so that each map is reviewed and looked at the same way. And as such, we're going to give the map a little bit of a hit with respect to customization of the farms, with giving it just a half of a point. The hillside cow husbandry here, just kind of below our starting farm. And we'll make our way up this lane 
because here we have another one of those, well, wrenches. And here we're going to be able to build out a sheep husbandry. Well, you know, there it is. And once we get inside of here, we're going to have room for 20 sheep. We have our water trough. And I guess that's all we're going to give these guys. We're going to graze, I guess, on the grass that's in here. Another cow husbandry for just five. So we got a lot of small husbandries here on this map. We've got our food point. Nice little garden going on here. Another little husbandry. For another eight. I can't wait for the farm sim 25 water, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the map, see where we are. Let's make our way to the right to go up here to the next farm. We have 10 owls here. Another hillside husbandry. Another hillside husbandry right next door. And then right next door, another one. So lots of these little husbandry areas, eight here, eight there, 10 over there, right? They all, they all do start to slowly add up. Here we have our second farm, our third farm. Lots of apple trees also here on the hillside. We have our sleep and wardrobe triggers. We have a calf hut. Let's go make sure we pick a calf to go in there. A total of seven calves can go inside of here. Sometimes it really is a shame that we see these fabulous maps come out right toward the end, and you can kind of understand why. It takes a really, really long time for these guys to put this stuff together. 45 cows in this large, larger barn. We have our milk trigger there. We're gonna have our food trough. Like when we have multiple levels to these buildings as well. Another house husbandry, right? We got the cows all over the hillside here. 15 in that one. Another calf hut. This time, just five. Our manure heap, our slurry. More cows, this time 20 in this larger pasture area. Continue to make our way. Over to the next farm. Well, now we're running into 30 cows in this area. And of course, we're gonna have another one. I like how these kind of go together from one to the next. So you could easily role play moving your cows from one pasture to the next as they graze down all of this grass, right? That's a cool little thing to be able to do. Here we have a farmhouse. And then we have the farm itself. 15 cows here. Chickens. 
30 chickens. We have Slurry Point. We have a Silo. Dump Point. Oh, this is kind of neat. Well, like I said in the intro, I really do wish that this map author 15 cows in here really do wish that this math author would or could provide us with a non Terra Life Plus variant of this map. That way, this map would be more and more accessible, possibly even being acceptable to console players so that they could get a chance to play on something that is just so, so beautiful. Another 20. In here, we have another manure heap. We have some more apple trees. Apple trees right next to our electric fence. Be careful with that, folks. Now, in addition to the hay dryer, the apple trees, and the BGA, we do also have two large greenhouses here on the map. They are located right here. We have one right there and one right there. Twelve cows in here. And let's continue to make our way up to the northwest because we've got another large farm up there. That is located directly in front of us here. So with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such, we're giving the map a full point. Of course, we've got 17 apple trees, 15 small apple trees. We've got a BGA, two greenhouses, and a hay dryer. It's definitely, definitely worth having that full point. With respect to the village cell, our basing crops, animal outputs, and productions, as we've already mentioned, we're going to take a little bit of points off because we do have, well, we do have a few things that we just cannot add or sell. And those are going to be fabric, clothes, cereal, and furniture. Another 15. Another 15. And then we have 30. The food, we have our straw point there. Another cow pasture. back around we do have a in-ground silage bunker here denoted by these tires the food trough for this small cow pasture for another 12 more apple trees in the front yard and there you go so we also have chickens here which we skipped over for another hundred chickens uh, i believe we maybe maybe have skipped the farm let's make our way down here you're looking at our hillside forestry
really beautiful setup. And it's almost worth, almost worth putting the time in to figure out Terra Life Plus, in my opinion, to jump on this map and be able to experience it and play with it. And man, would this be a map then to close out your FS22 experience. It, it might, it might even be a reason not to jump into FS25 right at the start. No, 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 we're not doing that. But at any rate, for those that are maybe looking to hold off on FS25, maps like this really will carry you through for several months after FS25's release, while you may be waiting on certain mods or certain other features to come through. So here on the hillside, we've got 25 cows. I was thinking this might be a, a goat or sheep area myself. And then let's make our way down here to where we're gonna find our various cell points. And that's gonna be in the Southern part of the map. So with respect to the farms being customizable, we've already mentioned a half a point there because there's a lot of little details at all of these farms that just are not sellable. But it's not like you're going to be able to ever put these maps together again. Interesting. So if there was ever a map where you just would not customize anything at all, I think this would be it. Oh, we've got we've got a realtor or something going on here. So this is going to be one of our sell points. This is going to be the farm shop. And to the south of that, we have a dairy and a village pub. I guess that would be our dairy. And our village pub up here on top of the hill. Now just up from that farm shop, we do have our vehicle shop. So we have our dealer trigger. And then we can buy our vehicles here around the side. And I know by doing my previous video, which respect to feed mixes, which was on this map, well, your vehicles are gonna spawn over here. So not the largest area for vehicles to spawn in at, but again, given the sizes of most of these fields being between one to two hectares or less, I don't think you're really gonna be buying a lot of big machinery. Teeing up the hillside, we have a Buy point for lime. We have a sell point here. It's going to be for wool. And then we have what well, we have a beet fodder fill point. We have a brewer's grain fill point. And we have a duca seed fill point. So these are all going to be buy points for a product. We have our biomass heating plant down here in our carpentry. Now the carpentry is simply a cell point as opposed to an actual production. So here we have a wood cell point. And I will caution you about this BGA area. When I was testing this map earlier, before I was going to come and record this video, I hit this activation icon and boom, completely blew the game up. So I fear that this map may need an update. I have seen here, for example, we've got a Lua error related to something going on 
with production revamp. And it may or may not be associated with respect to the BGA area here. So just a word of warning, just a little bit of a caution as to that this map may be getting a small update. And if you play on this map, maybe, maybe give this BGA area a little bit of a pass. We're coming up here to our animal dealer. So we can see we have, well, we got all sorts of animals here. We got our sheep, we got our cows, we got our goats, we got our chickens. We have a hay cell point and we have our horses. Now, the reason this is probably popping up is because I used a script to buy these areas. I don't have a script to console command to buy all the farmlands. So typically you wouldn't own this. And that's probably why we're seeing all of these triggers pop. Buildings where appropriately are indeed using the new texturing technique. This, this map. All of these buildings are just absolutely stunning and beautiful. We've got farmlands, we got farmhouses all over the place that we can make use of. Right? And we get some nice lakeside property. We got some swans, some ducks here at the lake. Maybe in 25 we'll be able to jump on a boat and ride the lake. Drive the water. Now I'd love to know what your all thoughts are down in the comments below if we take a look at our build mode we're not going to go through all of these buildings and things because of all of the required mods but i do want to look here at our ground textures get a fair number of ground textures included with this map so if we do want to do any sort of additional customization at any of the farms we will have the ability to do a lot of ground texturing and we have lots of Plants that are again part of the Terra Life Plus mod. We ran through these with the Terra Life Plus overview video a little bit ago. And we're going to have trees that are again going to be all part of the Terra Life Plus mod. So, the last scoring metric that we're going to talk about is going to be trigger in interactive areas being clearly marked. I feel like I want to give this map a point, but I also feel like maybe I shouldn't give this map a full point here because of the overabundance of triggers may, when they're really, really close together, be a little bit confusing. And as a byproduct, that's one of the great avenues as to why the map author has done such a very detailed manual to help you know which farm you're at and then where each trigger is for each of those given farms. So then I wanna err on the side of a little bit of caution and give the map three quarters of a point there which is going to give this total map a score of four out of five hands down in my opinion one of the most beautiful maps in farm sim 22 i hope it does come with a non terra life plus edition at some point before the game ends and most of our player base moves over to fs 25 because it would be truly a shame in my opinion to have this map locked up with just Terra Life Plus. And as a result, just the players that are on PC being able to possibly experience this map. And then a subset of those players who are choosing to actually make use of Terra Life Plus having it available. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And until next time, happy farming.